Welcome to English with Teacher. I'm Teacher. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. So, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody and tell you how much I appreciate everyone who's liking and sharing my videos and especially the people who are subscribed to the channel. It's very helpful. So, today I'll be doing some very advanced um, comprehension and grammar practice. We will be using the Bible. We are using the New Living Translation. We are learning out of Matthew 2, uh, verses 13 to 15. If you want to follow along, you can look that up and you can read along with us. So, first of all, I would like to introduce my wonderful co-host. Ma'am, would you please introduce yourself? Yes. Um... Hi teacher, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ha, and uh, I'm from Vietnam. And I'm very happy to join your lesson with uh, our teacher today. Thank you. I'm very happy to have you join. <clears throat> so first of all, I would ask that you please read um, the verses. Yes. Um, so escape to Egypt. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother. The angel said, stay there until oh, I tell you okay, to hey, return. Okay, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. You cannot drop your D's. Okay? Yeah. They don't have to be loud, but you have to make a sound for them. So the angel said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get up. Get up. Flee to Egypt with the child and his mother. The angel said, stay there until I tell you to return. Because he wrote is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back and do that again. And don't forget the D in child. Yeah. That night, Joseph left for Egypt was the child and Mary, his mother, and and they stayed there until he wrote the death. This fulfilled what the Lord has spoken through the prophet. I called my I called my son out of Egypt. Nice, nice. That's a habit that we have to get you into. And it's, I know Vietnamese, Viet, in Vietnamese, you often drop the last letter in the word. So it's a habit that you have to get into is pronouncing that last sound, the D's and the T's at the end of a word. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I would ask you to please go back and explain it in your own words. Yes. This is the part, oh, sorry, this, this is the part that helps with the comprehension and using proper grammar to explain things. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, uh, teacher, uh, can you explain who is Joseph? Joseph is Jesus' father. This paragraph is about the escape of uh, 
Jesus and his family to Egypt. After the wise men uh, were gone, an, uh, an angel of the Lord came to Joseph and in a dream and told them to get up and flee and go to Egypt with the child and his mother. And, uh, and the angel also uh, told them to stay there until he told him uh, told them to return because the king he wrote uh, is a uh, was going to find the child to like kill him um okay uh that night Joseph left for easy with the child and and his wife Mary and they stayed there until Herod was uh, died. Her okay, t until Herod died or until Herod's death? Yes. Okay, and they stayed there until Herod died. Uh, and this and this was a Jesus Christ in the prophet uh, it is like he called my like, people like uh, Jesus our PC very good very good um, watch your filler words. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, the filler word? So, you added the word like because you couldn't think of what to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's a very common habit. It's not just you who does this, okay? Trust me. I've seen it lots. But you have to watch adding words because you're not sure of what you should say. So you're better to be silent than to add words that don't make any sense. Yeah. Okay. So other than, very good though, very good. Um, a few corrections, but the corrections are how we learn. So, yes, I'm, I'm very impressed with your skill on this. Um, so, we will keep going in the next lesson. Uh, thank you for joining me and helping me out today. Thank you, everyone, uh, for watching. I hope you learned, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, you take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.